Hello, sir. <laughs> what, what can I do for you? Welcome to Kepster's Comfy Comforters. Yeah, I'm looking for a mattress for my wife and I. I have the perfect one right here for you. I, I, think, I think that's a twin. Oh, is your wife a fat girl or does she just stink? <laughs> ne neither? Well, great. This one is perfect for you. Look, brand new. Plastic is still on it. This right here, nanotechnology. Ever heard of Tesla? Invented by another guy that kind of looked like him. Ever heard of the wine test? Great way to test hmm, how good a mattress is. Normal spring, ugh, normal spring mattress, this would never stay up. But, but on this memory, on the memory foam, hold, hold, I think, I think there's an earthquake. That's, that's what's happening. On this memory, on, if that was a spring mattress, it would have, it would have got way worse than that. So that's why this one's good. Have you ever heard of the princess and the pea? Well, let me just show you. Check this out. Put it, it's so soft. Put that there. Ugh. Okay. And then it would have squished a lot more on a regular mattress. That's it barely squished. Watch and be amazed. Three easy payments of $4.99. Uh, so we got a deal? Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Does your back hurt right now? Maybe you need a new mattress and maybe you should get a memory foam pressure relief mattress. And maybe you should just watch Demolition Ranch because we're going to shoot some today. So we actually shot memory foam a while back. We shot a bunch of memory foam pillows to see how they differed from regular pillows. And we found out that memory foam was terrible, terrible at stopping bullets. Like the bullets just whizzed right through like so many pillows. So then I started wondering, when you order these memory foam mattresses, they come super compacted and rolled up. For instance, this is a twin mattress and it's six inches tall when it's all expanded, but they knock all the air at them, squeeze them down, roll them up. This one is actually a little bit bigger because when we pull it out of the box, it started, it wasn't taped up right. So it started unrolling. So you can see this one's already much larger than these. So these front three are super densely packed, really dense, really hard. So I wanted to see if you have super densely packed memory foam, is it better at stopping bullets than our pillows, which were just totally expanded memory foam, and pretty much just let the bullets pass through them like they were air. Starting off in classic Demolition Ranch style with a Walther P22 chambered in 22 long rifles. So what we're not gonna be able to see is like exactly where the bullet stops. All we're gonna know is, does it go through the first, does it go through the second, and so on. So let's see. Dude. <laughs> okay. Oh wait. Did it not go in? Dude, it bounced. Did it go through? I can't tell. There's no hole in the second one. Weird. Okay, so that's actually pretty sad for this video that the 22 long rifle went straight through the first one, I think. I mean, it definitely poked a hole here. And it looks like, oh, dude, I don't even know if it came out with any force at all. There's like no dent here. It did not dent the plastic. Are you still in there? It is, it's right there, I can feel it. <laughs> All right, we're doing surgery. There she is, 22 long rifle. Almost made it through one. That is pretty dang weak. So you can see it has this fabric here, and then there's that memory foam inside it right there. Okay, uh, let's shoot it with a real caliber and hope we don't get exactly the same results and the nine millimeter goes through everything. That'd be bad. <laughs> this is a Glock 34 that has been modded by agency. It's an agency Glock. And uh, this was the one that we had, I don't know if you can see it, there's still blue glitter on it. We did a torture test of this Glock. I called it the Gucci Glock, which is a slang term for any Glock that is like modded and fancy like this. They call them Gucci Glocks and it was totally destroyed. We torture tested it. We uh, busted cinder blocks on it. We just did a bunch of mean stuff to it and it still was running pretty well. So I actually 
for the first time. That video was, I don't know, a year ago, and I hadn't cleaned it, so uh, yesterday I took it out and I tried to get all the glitter off. I still, you cannot get all the glitter off. Took it all apart, cleaned it all, oiled it all, and we're gonna see uh, if it runs. I think it will. That is a nine millimeter out of this Glock 34. Gucci Glock, and it's a full metal jacket to give it the best chance of penetrating. <laughs> Cycle, blocked back, good to go. Oh, it stopped. Oh no, it didn't stop, it definitely. Definitely went through. That was where I pulled the 22 out. That is where the nine millimeter came through. This is where the nine millimeter entered. And, moment of truth, stopped. Okay, interesting. So the whole reason I do stuff like this is because I'm always thinking about what will stop bullets. So say I'm laying in bed and some bad guy gets through the first four layers of defense and all of a sudden he's in my room. I need to roll over, pull the gun out, and then do I pull up the mattress to get me some cover? Or do I use the nightstand, the lamp? I don't know. I, I want to know. And so that's the whole reason for this channel is so I can defend myself in my bedroom in the middle of the night. So the next round, the next, the next round is similar in size to the 9mm, but it is going way faster. This is a 357 Magnum out of this Kiapa Rhino. So speed is how you get through stuff. So we are going to shoot a super fast 357 Magnum through our memory foam mattresses. Just in case, bad guy runs in with a big old revolver. Fire it! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you might have noticed when I shot that 357 Magnum, it didn't rock up. That's the beauty of this. So what's interesting about this gun is the barrel is down here shooting out of the bottom of the cylinder. Usually the barrel's on the top shooting out of that top spot on the cylinder. So it has more leverage to kick back. This one goes kind of straight back. That's the beauty of the Kiapa. Either way, we went through the first one. This, oh dang, this is the, that's 357 right there. So shredding our mattress, went through, came out, went, yeah, that's nine. Did that not go through? It didn't. Is the bullet here? It really, oh, look at that. Dude, still hot too. Holy cow. So our nine millimeter went in and somehow our 357 did not. And because this thing is more torn up, it makes me wonder if this thing was flipping more and then obviously going slower. So when it tears up like this, it means it was going slower through here. Whereas this one poked right through, or actually that was a nine pokes right through, means it was probably going straight and fast. This one was flipping, slowing down, popped out, hit this, did not cut the fabric, and fell straight to the ground, and is still warm. Weird. The militia, um, I need to apologize, I lied to you. That was a 38 special. I was super confused, because I was like, I didn't think it would do that. Looked at, I looked at the box, yeah, I was shooting the wrong one. 38 special? This is a 357 Magnum. So this is a uh, soft tip, but it probably will expand. I don't know, it's hitting something soft, so it might not. We're gonna shoot an actual 357 Magnum through there, not that 38. That's why it did less than the nine millimeter, because it's a 38 Special. They're weak. 357 Magnum is what we are shooting now. Actual 357 Magnum. That's also a reason this thing didn't kick up much, because I was shooting a 38 Special last time. 357 Magnum, we're gonna go low this time. Okay, much more powerful, still did not raise up, came back. This ground right here is darker. You can see it's darker there. That's where the puddle of ranch was. It's still greasy from that ranch video so long ago. That 357 Magnum, dude, so didn't disrupt much because it's freaking booking it through there. That's the 38 Special. Much weaker round, made a bigger hole because it's going slower, catching more stuff. Entry right here, 357 Magnum. Whoa. That's, it tried to come out. I don't know that it came out. Uh, it doesn't, I don't see anything on here. We're gonna cut her open and see if we can figure this out. Yeah. Yep, there's a bullet right there, I can feel it. Dude, being able to find these bullets, insane. We actually got super lucky the last like five videos in a row. I haven't thought we were gonna actually find these bullets and they're always very easy to find somehow. Like if this thing was in the middle of this, we'd never find it. But they're stopping like right before leaving or stopping on the ground outside of it. There she is, 357 Magnum, hot! And we lost our soft tip, but the uh, leaf, the petals did not open up on that thing. So, we have not made it into the third mattress yet. 
Guess we should shoot something more powerful. Next up, the 50 AE out of the poor man's Desert Eagle. This is the Automag 5 giant pistol, just like a Desert Eagle. It has a ported slide and ported barrel and shoots the giant 50 AE. This one is a hollow point, so it's going super fast. It's super heavy, but it's probably gonna open up. I'm gonna shoot high on this one. Jeez. Place your predictions in the comments below. Do you think it made it through the second? I'm gonna say yes. Oh man. <laughs> All right, there's our 50 AE coming out of the second, going into the third right here. Oh no. Coming out of the third, going into the fourth, and stopping in the fourth. Did not come out. Whew, video was almost over. We need content on this one bad. It's a 762 by 39. The round that an AK-47 shoots, uh, and this is a copper bullet. It's gonna freaking go through everything. For sure. Not good. Not good. Uh, what? Hold up. What? It didn't even go through this one. We've got too many holes for me to figure out where it's going. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, pretty sure this one's it. Here, and here, and then nothing came out. So maybe it's the bigger, heavier bullets that can carry through this. The lighter bullets are flipping and turning and stopping. But that for sure stopped in the third one. Okay, let's try a bigger, faster, but heavier bullet and see what happens. My glasses are fogging up. Let's see what happens. Ow. Just pull one of my mustache hairs out. On Dang it. <laughs> I don't have enough mustache hairs to go around. Okay, 458 SOCOM. Look at this thing. And that is an extreme penetrator round. All brass. I wanted something that's gonna go deep and penetrate hard, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna shoot low on this one so that maybe I can figure out which hole is it. Oh my gosh, this is, this is zoomed in all the way. Can't see anything since I'm shooting at three yards. Fire! Oh my gosh. I forgot the fireball that comes out of this gun. Pew. Oh gosh, boom. Okay, it looks like it might be slowing down though. Dude, that could, that could be a good sign. Okay, maybe not. And, <gasps> weird. How crazy is that? So, all these rounds are acting more and more powerful, but they can't get through this one. I thought for sure after seeing what the 22 did that we were not gonna stop anything. But somehow we are. I mean, these things are dense. Like, look at these. They're dense. I weigh 700 pounds and it barely even squishes it. 458 SOCOM is pretty big. I think there's only one thing else to try. So I was thinking maybe we just do a 50 BMG. That is a blue tip, which is an incendiary round. There's no way that this thing does not go through, right? There's just no way. Fire it! Let's go see what happened. I don't know where, I don't remember where the holes were. Let's just assume. These are all going through. Oh yeah, that one's hot. Holy cow, that's really hot in there. Okay, that one's it. That's it, coming through sideways, look at that. Ripped a huge wide hole. Going in sideways right there, and a little baby hole coming out the back. That's it. Crazy, okay, so it did go through. Yeah, I hit the dirt right here. And our 50 went boom, right there into the dirt. Look, there's even memory foam right there. That's pretty crazy. Okay, we made it through successfully. I have one more thing I wanna try. <laughs> so, so I was thinking, okay, hear me out. The muzzle brake of a Barrett shoots a very powerful blast out the side, right? The muzzle brake is about right here, all the way in the middle of this tightly rolled mattress. So I wanna see if we can blow out the sides of this thing. It also may destroy my gun. Uh, both of those things are equally likely. So we're gonna go ahead and fire it. Here I have another blue tip. We also may just accidentally light this thing on fire. Okay, but we got a string here on the trigger. We're gonna go back behind cover because this is a little 
uh, scary, but it should be good. Really, really good. Okay, we got a string. We're gonna get down low and pull it. Dude, that was quiet. Okay, definitely went through and I don't, I don't think it blew out the sides. Okay, so this is hot right here. So it definitely came out there. Yeah, went in there, look at that. Little hole, it was still going straight right there. So went in straight, came out sideways, carried on that way somewhere. Uh, this did not blow up. I really thought we might get it to blow out the sides. Let's see what the muzzle brake looks like. Ugh. Hopefully there still is an end of the barrel on there. Ugh. Hot in here. Ugh. That's just gonna stay in there. That looks great. Hot, very hot. Now let's open up the mattress, see what it looks like in there. <laughs> there she is. So, dang, freaking cut it all the way down. So this, it looks like muzzle brake was here. That was on one side and that was on one side blasted it, but not enough to make it all the way through. Okay, kind of interesting video. Uh, turns out compressed memory foam definitely works way better than non-compressed memory foam. Uh, anyway, me and the bear are just gonna you know, rest up after a good day's work here. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the I love you! And I'll see you next time. Contact line! It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.